Hi, I'm Warren Love. I drive the Swerk MPC Audi R8 LMS, and on this episode of Crimsafe Talking Tech, I'm going to take you behind the wheel. So the R8 LMS that we race, as you see here, starts life as a regular R8 road car, but very quickly gets turned into a race car. And really there's not much left of the standard road car because everything from the aerodynamics, the brakes, the engine, the inside of the car, it's all about tuned for racing. And it's built to the FIA GT3 regulations. So even starting at the front of the car in terms of the aerodynamics of the car, a lot of time is spent to get the aero balance of the cars right because it's about a trade-off between aerodynamic grip in the corners without losing too much straight line speed. Also, the big difference of this car is the R8 that you would see out there driving on the road is an all-wheel drive vehicle. All cars that obviously conform with the FIA GT3 regulations have to be rear-wheel drive. So this car is only rear-wheel drive and it actually shares a lot of its platform with the Lamborghini that you also see running in GT3 regulations. So at the heart of the Audi is this lovely R8 V10 engine. Very similar to the road-going car, but obviously it's built for racing performance. And one of the ways that they try and control the parity in this category is either high air restrictors, weight, or even in the aero balance of the car. And it's something that gets changed during the course of the year. So the balance of performance is the one thing that all the manufacturers are obviously trying to get into their favour. <laughs> Again, one of the key elements that adds to the performance of these cars is not only just the wheels and tyres, but also the braking in these. And one good thing about this category is we still actually get to run the ABS on the cars, but it's a tunable system, like the traction control. So when it starts to rain, we come in to put the wet tyres on, we can actually turn up the level of sensitivity of the ABS, we can also turn up the traction control. But also in this category, it's a very tyre sensitive category because you've got different cars, different weights, so we run different size wheels and tyres up and down pit lane and we also have different tyre manufacturers here as well. So not only is it, a, is it a race between the manufacturers but it's also a race between the tyre companies as well. So in endurance style events, which is obviously what these cars are built for, there's a lot of things that really help the driver during the course of a race. Up here, sort of at the top of the control panel, we've got the uh, stability control, which can be tuned, again, based on the conditions. So if it was wet, you turn the traction control up. Same with the ABS over here. Again, in the rain, you tend to run more ABS. Obviously, one of the great things about these cars is paddle shift. So again, it makes the whole driving side of things a lot easier. And then even right down the bottom here, you've actually got a control light for each of the individual drivers, so it's coloured to each specific driver, so race control know who's in the car at all times. So that's a quick look at the Audi R8 LMS. If you want to win it, Bathurst 12 hour, Nürburgring 24, Spa 24 hour or Daytona 24 hour, you get yourself one of these. We've been robbed a couple of times actually. So we had this screen installed. For cheap alternative. They look identical. So you think you're getting an equivalent product and you're not. Most Crimsafe lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But Crimsafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. It's solid and sturdy and definitely instills a lot of confidence in us. If you pay for what you get, Crimsafe is definitely the way to go. Better off paying the extra and getting the better product. Because if it's not Crimsafe, it's not Crimsafe.